Saturday 16th of April, open show at the Villa Marina. We have Merseyside and Cheshire versus the Isle of Man. It's a return match we had with them about three months ago. We boxed Merseyside and Cheshire at their place where they were narrowly beaten. We were narrowly beaten, was a 6 5. 6 5, I think. So it's a return match. Not, it's not the same opponents per person, it's just the team. So we, um, we've got 16 lads on at the minute. That could change if uh, people pull out, have injuries and stuff. Um, our side and their side. Um, we've got two, three, sorry, one, we've got one new lad, two new lads on, boxing for the first time. And we've got a couple of uh, favourites, Jade being one of them, Mike Simon, the Golden Girl, the Million Dollar Baby, uh, who's also in the national, uh, yeah, the yeah, national yeah. championships <laughs> next week in London. Uh, We've got Sam Gallon, who narrowly got beat last week. Controversial decision. He's top on the bill against a really good lad from Liverpool. We've got TJ, who is on our long-term athlete development plan for the Commonwealth Games next time round. He's got a tough bout coming up after reaching this year's quarterfinals. So he'll be on show. So it'll be a good venue. Good In terms of training time, you've got them, what look like absolutely excruciating. Tonight is that standard night, boys. That's that's not a bad session tonight, actually. It was tapering off now because we've only got two weeks left to go. It's not as intense as it normally is. Uh, there, there's no running tonight, there's no sprints. It was mostly sparring tonight. We'll do a lot of skills and drills normally, and then we'll implement that on the bag, and then we'll set that up and go into the, the sparring session of that. It's been a bit of a, you know, the past 18 months, two years have been what they've been. How has that affected how you'd see some of your lads progressing? And some women progressing at that time? Yeah, 100%. The, the, the people are on a slow level of going up and up and up, and that two years just knocked it knocked it out, really. Um, there's lads who should have had only two bouts now, who should have had even 10 bouts. So the development process has slowed down a little bit. It hasn't picked up, it hasn't stopped, and we just got to redevelop and restart again, really. But, um, so the progress that we started on, I'd, I'd stopped them for two years off, but they kept they kept themselves fit, and we done what we could in the gym, or we couldn't compete, so they were missing the actual competitive side. And we were like a date to work towards. Yeah, and we had no, there was no goals in mind at the time because no one knew when it was going to stop, did they? When, when the when the lockdown was going to finish, but now we're back up and running and we're back on track. It's the first time you had team over since that was the second. Time. No, we had a show, we had a mixed show, uh, North West Region, um, different clubs came over. We only had 10 bouts on, that was at the Villa last year. It, the show went fantastic, by a brilliant show. But the, you know, for 10, for an open show, you want to be looking at 15 to 20 bouts on. 15, 16 bouts is probably not normal. But we had 10 because of the restrictions. And just in terms of like developing your, your boxes there, how big is a night like that? You know, what, how much added to it is this whole thing of performing in front, of, effectively is performing in front of the crowd? Oh, it's, it's brilliant for, for the, for the for the lads themselves, especially the young ones who've never done it before, we've got some seasoned lads in here now and girls obviously who boxed it at a really decent level, top level. So they're used to it week in, week out. But for the new lads who haven't done it before, it can be quite, it can make or break them. You know, they look fantastic in the gym, they're great on the pads, they're great sparring, but when they get in front of the crowd, they'll either freeze, fight or flight. And some of them, to be fair, most of them we've had have, have, have right, rose to the game and, and got stuck in. And it's great boxing in front of the home crowd. We don't get to do it a lot. But now, you know, hopefully when they do do it, they'll, they'll, they can take that with them when they go when they go across and box. The crowd's not always on your fit, on your side, so when we're here, it is. When you go away, it isn't. So it's, we uh, like that as well. Don't we? Yeah, it, it's it's balancing out, isn't it? Yeah. Some box better in front of the home crowd. Some box terrible in front of the home crowd. Too much pressure on them. A lot mm. of people can't be watching when they can't handle the pressure. But some, a lot of them are lads anyway, because they're watching. They rise to it. <laughs> Most of them. Because they're watching, how do you rank their chances? Uh, we'll win. Yeah, I think. I think I think we're confident. We've we've you know we've been working everyone's hard, worked we? really hard. Everyone's worked really really hard. You know, <coughs> and, and everyone because I've got a big squad now, twenty two listed boxers, and we can't put that many on the show. So everyone's vying for places. We've never had that luxury before. You've used to get what you've got, but now we've got we've got that many. And we're going to have to trim it a little bit. And if they're not in the gym, they're not on. You know, and we, and I have to, I've had to ask a few. Not, I don't like doing it, but we've had to put a few out. Yeah, uh, get the tickets now. It's selling pretty quick at the minute, so and we really, really appreciate the support. The match public has been brilliant to us, to be honest, and it is a great night. Everyone gets behind us, don't they? Yeah, Everyone and people come, come, people come over to box. You don't get the luxury of boxing somewhere like the Villa Marina. It's it's brilliant, fantastic. What what a you know, what a, a place to box in. 
and um, well, 1,200 people watching. Brilliant. Just in terms of progression as well, we said, you know, at the minute we've seen Matty Rennie's going across and making a success for himself, we've had other fighters go across in the years. Is that something you you point to and say, look, if you want to do it, this can be you? Yeah, and everyone, everyone's like, if you need someone to aspire to, don't you? And see someone to get to. And um, and that's what they do. We've got to start, we start from it. This is the grassroots. This is the grassroots. And we're not just that boxing professional level. We've got a you know, boxer for England, maybe, on, on, along the way. Boxing international. Boxing for the Commonwealth Games for the Alaman. That's as big as any term, term professional for anyone. Representing the country at the Commonwealth Games, a major, major championship. Um, but yeah, then, you know, we're looking to move on and push on.